share with us Philippians chapter 4. Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are honest, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. And that's enough for the night. Think. Help me say think. I'm honored that God did what he did to make us. Psalms 100 say it is he that had made us and not we ourselves. When God gave, made man, he gave him 263 bones, 600 muscles, 970 miles of blood vessels, 32 feet of intestines, 32 teeth in his mouth, eyes like cameras every time they flash, take a picture, send it to the brain to be developed. A heart that beat uh, from 60 to 80 times a minute on an average of 72 times per minute. A tongue with 400 cups that can pick up the sweets and sours. 20,000 tiny hairs in his ears that can pick up the highs and the lows. A hand with 27 bones that represent the 27 books of the New Testament. It is he that have made us. After he made man, he put in him liquid cells, red blood, red cells, and white cells. The red cells are large in number, but smaller in size. The white cells are larger in size, but smaller in number. Here is how they work. If I have an accident on my hand, finger number one, the white cells leave their camp and go up and literally die for the recovery of my finger. You call it pus, but it's the death of the white cells. Once they die for the recovery of my finger, they email the red cells. And the red cells come and clean up the mess that the white cells has made. In a few days, there's a scab that appears. After the scab move, my hand is completely healed. Without any medicine, any medication, it is he that had made us and not we ourselves. The tragedy is that our mind controls every part of us. As strange it is, man is what you call a trichotomy is not die, he's not just body and soul, but he's body, soul, and spirit. He is literally three in one. But God so designed him that he placed within this body a mind. And the mind is like a firm that every time you squeeze it, it reaches for something else. There are three forces that's after your mind. The devil is after your mind. The Lord is after your mind. And self want to control your mind. There's a war going on in your mind even as I talk now. It didn't just start yesterday or today. When the Bible first started, there was a war going on with man's mind. Because when Satan attacked Eve, he attacked her mind. As quiet as it is kept, there was a different makeup between men and women. Whether we like it or not, men make decisions based upon reason, what he see. A woman make decisions based upon emotions, how she feel. 
We don't like it, and some people think that that's not right, but it is true. If you go, don't believe me, when you get home tonight and get with your wife, and you think in terms of doing something that husbands and wives do, the man wants to keep the lights on. But the woman, the first thing she said is turn off the lights. Because the man wants to see what he's doing. But the woman wants to feel it is based upon how she feels. But, but, but Satan, Satan, when he when he approached Eve, he approached Eve with her reason. And he approached Adam with his emotions. In other words, he, he reversed their makeup. And he, he won then, and he's still winning, because he's using the same tools now that he used then. The lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. Because he's dealing with your mind. Matter of fact, when the devil decided to tempt Jesus, he dealt with his mind. Because remember, he says to Jesus, Are all the kingdoms of the world, and the Bible says he took him and showed him all the kingdoms, and said, I'll give you all of this if you just worship me. He was dealing with the mind because nobody can go to all the kingdoms in a moment of time without dealing with your Man, Second Corinthians chapter 12, chapter 10, verse 4. So I reckon that the weapons of this warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Greek word is a kurmai for the word stronghold. Prior to the Bible, a kurmai, it meant fortress. It, 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 it was this place that they would use for battle and for war. It was designed with thick walls that would keep the enemies from getting in. <laughs> but then by the time of the New Testament was written, the word akurma in the Greek, it meant prison. Prisons, they're designed to keep people from getting out. <laughs> Talk to me, somebody. As quiet as it is kept, there's something in your mind that's trying to get out. <laughs> but Satan is outside trying to get in. <laughs> And when he can get in, he start controlling every other part of you. Uh, second of uh, 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 Philippians chapter four verse six is to be anxious. Meranoa in the Greek, which means don't have anxiety. In other words, don't allow worry to take over in your life. Because whenever you worry, the word worry is a German word. It means to be choked by the neck. And whenever you worry, it chokes you because it creates what you call stress. And whenever you stress yourself out, it causes your arteries to constrain. And when your arteries constrain, it causes the blood to flow to fluent. And when the blood flows too fast, it causes you to have heart attacks and strokes. Whenever you worry, it causes you to have high cholesterol. High cholesterol can cause you to have type 2 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes will cause your immune system to get low. When your immune system drops, you don't have enough power to fight off diseases. And whenever you have diseases, it causes you to have disease. And whenever there is a disease, there's a problem on the inside. Talk to me, somebody. It's because you worry. And most of the stuff we worry about ain't happened yet. Talk to me, somebody. We worry about stuff that has never happened and more than likely it's not going to happen. Jesus knew that we would have problems with worry. That's why he penned Matthew 6, 25. He said, take no thought for your life. That's your future or what you shall eat. That's your food. Yea, for your body, that's your fitness. Or what you shall put on, that's your fashion. Then he said in Matthew 6, 19, lay down for yourself 
treasure, that's your finances. There are five things that worry most of us in here. Our future, our food, our fitness, our fashion, and our finances. He said, don't worry about it. And I sent the Lord an email. I said, tell me why. He said, drop down the Matthew 6, 33, but seek ye first. The kingdom of God and his righteousness and all of these things, your future, your food, your fitness, your fashion, and your finances, he said, will be added unto you. Do I have a witness? He said, make sure you don't worry. Because worry can get the best out of you. You, you don't let, you don't worry about people. Don't let people park on your brain and they're not paying you any rent you have to write an eviction notice say you can't park here do I have a witness Ephesians chapter 6 verse 11 it said put on Greek word is in dual you see that same word in Luke 24 49 wait until you have been in dual the word endured means to be girded. It comes from the idea of putting on a garment that's tight. It, it, it wraps all around you. Wait until you have been girded with the Holy Ghost. Put on the whole armor of God that you might be able to stand. Greek word histomy means stand erect without bent shoulders, without a bent back. Stand. See, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. If you aim at nothing, you're guaranteed to hit it. If you're going nowhere, any road will lead you there. He said that you may be able to stand against, Greek word against it, the word pros, P-R-O-S. It's an intimate word. It means face to face. You see that same word in John 1 and 1, in the beginning was the word, the word was with. Same Greek word pros means face to face. You see, God the Father and God the Son, they were always face to face. There was only one time they were not face to face, and that was at Calvary. And the reason they were not face to face then, because my sin got in the way. And anytime sin get in the way of anything, it create division. This word pros is the same word that's connected to the word prayer. Pros UK is the Greek word for prayer. Pros, same word, face to face. Meaning that when you pray, you become face to face with your God. Now it's important that we spend time face to face with him because sooner or later we're going to become, going to become face to face with our enemy. If you have been face to face with your father, whenever you run into your enemy, your enemy can't handle you. Talk to me somebody. It's a put on the whole arm of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles, wiles, Greek word methodia. It's where we get our English word method from. You see, the devil, whenever he come after you, he come with his methods. In other words, he come to you organized. Am I putting you all to sleep? Matter of fact, the devil knows scripture himself. To, to be honest, the devil take the same scripture for his mission statement that Jesus uses for his mission statement. John 10 and 10, the thief come at not. For but to steal, kill, and destroy. The Lord take the same verse for his mission statement. I come. That you might have life. And that you might have it more. Talk to me somebody. Abundantly. He said, listen, you have to understand the devil come with his method. He come organized. 2 Corinthians 2.11 Be not ignorant of Satan's device. The Greek word is noema, which means understanding. Root word noema is noeo, which means to think. Root word noeo is noose, which means mind. Which means the devil is after your mind. He loved to play mind games with you. I wish I had some help in here. He will make you think you won't make it. He'll make you think you can't succeed. And once the devil get in your mind, it's hard to get him out. 
Have you ever noticed that the devil can change your mind in the midst of prayer? You can be on your knees praying in the spirit and before you know it, your mind is on some mess while you still on your knees. I wish I had some help in this house. The devil take your mind, take it out of what it ought to be. As a matter of fact, it may be two or three in here now. Your mind have already started drifting. Do I have a witness? He is after your, hear me say, your mind. Let me walk through the text. He opened the verse by saying, finally. Now, most of us wait to hear that word tonight and tomorrow night. After you've been in convocation for three nights, day and night, you wait to hear Bishop say, finally. Yeah, it sounds like a church word, uh, but it's the Greek word loepon, which means, Paul said, I've told you a lot, but P.S. I got something else to tell you. In other words, don't leave before I tell you this. Finally, my brethren. Greek word for brethren is word autophagy. It means from the same womb. You see, there are only five births in the Bible. Soil birth, surgical birth, sack birth, Savior's birth, and saint's birth. Genesis 2, 74, man from the dust of the ground. That's the soil birth. After God made man, he performed surgery on him, took a rib from him, and made woman that surgical birth. After Adam knew Eve impregnated her, she brought forth Cain, Abel, and set in a sack. Every woman thereafter, when they get pregnant, they carry babies in a sack. That's sack birth. The Holy Spirit leaps upon Mary, impregnated her. She bring forth the Savior of the world. That's the Savior's birth. The Holy Spirit brought us from darkness to the marvelous light, give us new inspiration, new aspirations, start looking with new observations, counting with a new calculation. That's the saint's birth. And when we're born again, we are connected from the spiritual womb. Meaning this, you may have never seen me before, but you my sister. You are my brother. We came from the same spiritual womb. He said, finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, 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 where I find truth at, where I look to get my truth, do I find it in a bottle? No. Do I find it? Y'all don't hear me. <laughs> On the shelf? Well, there are several schools of thoughts for truth. When you look for truth, the first place most people look for is in science. That we look for science to find truth. Now, our science is not always bad. You got to thank God for science. And the formula of science came straight out of the Word of God. Formula of science, there are five steps to the formula of science. Time, force, motion, space, matter. That's the formula for science. Here it is, Genesis 1 and 1. In the beginning, that's time. God, that's force. Created, that's motion. Heaven, that's space. Earth, that's matter. <laughs> Y'all not in this house. It came right out of the word of God. Do I have a witness? And you got to thank God for science because scientists, they've done a marvelous job in what they've done. Science was so unique, they walked out one day and caught lightning, harnessed it into electricity, fixed it so you can touch a button and be warm in the winter and cool in the summer. Science went out one day and they, they put an iron bird together in North Carolina, fixed it so you can eat breakfast in New York, lunch in Los Angeles, Attend an Eden concert in Paris, France. Science. Put together an escalator so you can walk while standing still. Science. Put together satellite so you can sit in your living room and watch the Olympic in London, England. 
science found substitutes for the real thing oreo for butter synthetic for rubber citron for sugar postron for coffee have i got a witness here you got to thank god for science but science keep messing up because science have to keep going back to the drawing board science started off by saying light travel in a straight line but then they discovered that light can be bent by gravity. <laughs> now you got to watch anything that's got to go back to the lab. <laughs> and say, I had it right, but I made a mistake. I want something, if it's true today, I want it to be true tomorrow. I wish I had two witnesses. If it's true yesterday, let it be true today. Because when I'm gone, I want my children to be able to hold on to truth. <laughs> Do I have a witness? Can't find it in science. Well, the second school of thoughts of finding the truth is in philosophy. You have to admire philosophers because they're extremely smart. But most philosophers outsmart themselves. They'll have a witness. That's where we are now. Got too many folks have already outsmarted themselves. Y'all don't like that. Because now, to be honest, every person is his own philosopher. Because we think we're the only ones right. <laughs> Y'all don't like that. If you want to find out the person in the here that's righter than anybody else, find your seat. Because you say, ain't nobody like me. You cannot depend on philosophy. Well, that's another school of thought for truth, and that's religion. I'll be out of here in a moment. Thank God for religion. But when Paul talked about religion in Acts chapter 22, he said he called it the Jews' religion. They'll have a witness. And when James talked about religion, in James chapter 1, he called it man's religion. But then he modified again and called it pure religion. Now religion got too many channels to it. I don't want something that's a Jew's religion, man's religion, and pure. I want it to stay the same thing. So how can I find out what truth really is? John 114 the Bible said and Jesus was made flesh dwelled among us we beheld that of his glory the only begotten of the father full of grace and truth so if I'm gonna know truth I got to know Jesus have I got any hip in this house if I'm gonna know what truth is I can't go by him because John 14, 6, he said, I am the way. I am the truth. And I am the light. <laughs> In other words, the buck stopped with Jesus. Y'all don't like me. <laughs> and John 18, Pilate went to Jesus and said, are you the Messiah, the King of the Jews? Jesus said, for this cause came I into the world. He said, I came to bear witness of the truth. Then Pilate asked him, said, what is the truth? But then Pilate didn't wait on an answer. He walked out. Too many people walk out when it's time to hear the truth. I got to let y'all go. <laughs> Somebody ought to say, thank God for the truth. Do I have a witness here? I don't know about y'all, but I want to know what truth really is. Second, Second Timothy 3.16, all scriptures given by the inspiration. Shout inspiration. I leave y'all along with these big words. And among, theopronuma is the Greek word for inspiration. Theos is the Greek word for God. Numa is where you get the word wind, breath, and spirit. Meaning this, that when the Bible was written, God blew his breath on the word. 
So that means the word itself is truth. Because John 17, 17 says, sanctify them through thy word. Thy word is truth. Shout truth one more time. You know about the word, don't you? It's universal in its appeal. It is reasonable in its teaching. It is reliable in its promise. It is doable in its conflict. It is far-reaching in its vision. It is accurate in its prophecy. It is simple in its application. It is new and modern in its statesmanship. But you have to read it to be wise. You have to believe it to be saved. It's a pilgrim staff. It's a pilot's compass. It's a Christian's chariot. <laughs> have I got any help in this house? Thank God for... Y'all don't like me. That's why whatever you need in life, the answer is in the Word. I mean, here I am. I need some help. Well, you can find the answer in the Word. Psalms 121 verse 1, I lift up mine eyes unto the hills from which come in my help. My help comes from the Lord. If I need joy, it's in the Word. Psalms 30 verse 5, weeping may endure for a night, but joy come in the morning. <laughs> Have I got any hip in this? Y'all don't like me this time. If I need love, it's in the word. John 13, 34, a new commandment I give unto you as I have loved you. Love ye one to another. If I want to know where I'm going, the answer is in the word. Psalms 37, verse 23, the steps of a good man. Of a good man they are ordered by the Lord. If I need some patience, it's in the word. Isaiah 40, 31. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew thou strength, shall mount up with wings as eagles, shall run and not be weary, shall walk and not faint. If I need some patience, it's in the word. Isaiah 40, 31. Talk to me, somebody. Anybody know another thing about the word? Thank God for. Well, it's late. Let me get out of here. Thank y'all for letting me stop by tonight. Whatsoever things are true. Whatever things are honest. That means every child of God ought to be honest. You ought to live an honest life. You ought to walk honestly. Do I have a witness? But watch what he said. At the end of the verse, he said, Think, yeah, own these things you know your mind can do two things number one your mind have what you call memory but your mind also got what you call imagination mm. now they both work just opposite of each other memory will make you back up to yesterday. Yeah, imagination uh, will have you looking forward to the morrow. Yeah, now don't downplay that because every now and then uh, you need uh, to go back. Because uh, it's kind of like playing one of those old cassette players. Yeah, stuff you've already listened to. You want to go back and hear it again. Lord, uh, here's what I'm saying. Uh, yesterday, you went through some difficult times. Yeah, 85, you lost your job. But God saw you through it. And then uh, you lost your spouse. But God uh, saw you through it. <laughs> yeah, 95, uh, yeah, you got sick. But God healed your body. 2000, your child got in trouble, uh, but God brought them out. <laughs> 210, uh, you was at the point of death, 
and God delivered you again. And now, the crisis you're going through now, here's what you need to do is hit your reverse button. And go back and say, if he did it for me then, uh, Lord, uh, he'll do it for me now. <laughs> if God brought me through this, <laughs> he can bring me through this. <laughs> if God delivered me yesterday, <laughs> he's the same God uh, today as he was uh, on yesterday. <laughs> Have I got a witness hand there? Uh, you know what yesterday will do uh, it will give you faith uh, to make it through tomorrow mm, uh, the Bible said we walk uh, my faith uh, and not by sight uh, you see sight has its limitations uh, sight stop uh, at this building mm, but faith uh, go beyond the walls uh, Sight will have you filling out an application that applying for a job. But faith will have you cash in your first check. Sight will have you applying for a home loan. But faith will have you moving in the house. Sight will have you applying for a student loan. But faith will have you stepping on the stage. Getting your own degree, the sight uh, will have you going up for surgery, but faith uh, will have you back home. Have I got a witness hand? Uh, thank God uh, for memory. Is there anybody here can think of one thing God did yesterday that God didn't have to do, but didn't He do it? And then he bring you through. Uh, that's why you can walk now uh, with your head up. Uh, because you know what Malachi 3 and 6 said. Uh, I am the Lord God. Uh, I change not. Uh, Hebrew 13 and 8. Uh, to Jesus Christ. Uh, the same yesterday. Uh, today and forever. Uh, have I got one witness here? Uh, let me call another witness. Uh, Come here, Dave, and uh, I need your help tonight in this house. Uh, what you got to say about memory? I heard Dave. Yeah, I heard him say, he said, uh, when I got ready uh, to fight the giant Goliath, I had folk to tell me, uh, you're too young, uh, you're too inexperienced, uh, you're too little uh, to go up against this giant. Uh, but David said, this is what I did. And, uh, I hit my reverse button. Uh, as I told him, uh, you remember? Sometime back, uh, I was out watching my daddy's sheep. Uh, a lion came along uh, and tried to devour the sheep. Uh, I took that lion out uh, with my bare hand. Uh, and then a bear came. Uh, I destroyed him with my bare hand. Uh, that's what uh, reverse said to David. Uh, he said, then I hit my fast forward button. Uh, if God God delivered me with the lion and with the bear. He's able to deliver me in the future to take out a giant Goliath. Is there anybody in the house tonight got giants before you? Can I tell you, giants do fall. Just shake one hand and say, neighbor I'm a living testimony that giants do fall that same God that brought me yesterday oh he's able to bring me today I don't have a witness here can I take about 30 seconds and just brag on God because the God I serve he's too on the present 
to be absent. He's too omniscient, omnipotent to be weak. He's too omniscient to be dumb. He's too punctual to be late. He's too exact to error. He's too powerful to be weak. He's too loving not to care. Do I have a witness and uh, the God I serve? Uh, he's better than good. Uh, he's sweeter than honey. Uh, he's mightier than a mountain. Uh, he's wider than a round. Uh, he's straighter than a cross. Uh, he's purer than air. Uh, he's clearer than a crystal. Uh, tapes uh, can't measure him. Uh, water uh, can't drown him. Uh, fire uh, can't burn him. Uh, Death uh, can't kill him. Uh, anybody, uh, any, any, uh, anybody in the house uh, knowing a thing about him, uh, shake somebody's hands and neighbor, uh, the God I serve. He's an able God. Hey, he's all wise. He's all in all. He's Alpha. B, he's a bomb in Gideon. A bridge over troubled water. A baby born in Bethlehem. See, he's a carpenter. A comforter. A Christ child. Crucified on Calvary. D, he's a doctor, dietitian, and a druggist. E, he's from everlasting all the way to everlasting. F, he's the father of faith, uh, finish of faith, uh, friend for the friendless, uh, G, he's God's gift of glory, H, he's holy, hallelujah, in the highest, uh, I, he's Isaiah's sheep, uh, J, he's just Jesus, uh, he's justice, justification, he's a judge and a jeweler, uh, K, he's kinsman redeemer, uh, he's king of kings, uh, L, he's lord of lord, uh, he's lamb of God, uh, he's a lean and polar, uh, have I got a witness? And uh, M, he's merciful, he's mighty. Uh, in his Norse rainbow, uh, Nehemiah's wall builder, uh, Nicodemus is night school teacher. Uh, he never left me alone. Uh, oh, he's Omega, uh, omnipotent, uh, omniscient, and I'm the president. Uh, R, he's ready, righteous, reviver. Uh, S, he's Sue, safe, satisfying, sustained. Uh, T, he's a troubleshooter uh, that takes away trials. Uh, you, he's unusual. Uh, v, he was born of a virgin. Uh, victim one Friday uh, and won the victory Sunday morning. Uh, w, if you're weak, worn, and weary, uh, he's a well full of water. Uh, X, he got X ray eyes. Uh, Not only do he look at you, uh, but all the way through you. Why, his yoke is easy. If you yield to him, uh, he'll lead you way over yonder. See, he's seven eyes high priest. Uh, Zachariah's dinner guest. Uh, he can bat his high. And lightning will just zigzag uh, across the sky. Catch him out his hand one more time. Uh, send me, uh, it's a good thing uh, to just think. Uh, hit me, say, think. Uh, take a moment uh, and just think. Uh, you know when you start thinking, uh, you start thinking. Uh, have I got a witness hand? Uh, when you think uh, of the goodness of God uh, and all uh, he has done for us, uh, my soul crowned. Uh, hallelujah. I thank you for saving me. Uh, it is all right. Uh, can somebody say one more time? Uh, Say, honey, I'm glad to sit next to you. Lord, been good to me. Tell him, matter of fact, if you knew my story, you'd understand my glory. Said, been rough on me. I've been through this, and I've been through that. I've had some up days. I've had some down days. Seven neighbor. I know you didn't know about it. Uh, the reason you didn't know, uh, tell them I don't look like. Uh, tell somebody uh, I don't look like. 
I'm out of here. I don't look like what I've been through. But out of all the stuff that I've been through, I still have my joy. And all this joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me. The world. <laughs> the world can't take it away. Is he all right in here? Hit me, say it's all right. Oh, <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is he all right? Hit me, say it's all right. All right. I'm glad I know it. I'm glad I'm saved. I'm glad I'm sanctified. Filled with the Holy Spirit. Anybody know him? Help me say I know him. Hold those hands up in the air, though they're spiritual antennas. Tell him, yeah. 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 If the Lord been good to you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Thank. You, Lord. thank you lost well what you thinking if uh, he's been so good can anybody testify to that he's been so good so so good he's been so good been so so good He's been so good. Well, what did he do? He saved my soul. Saved my soul. Saved my soul. He saved my soul. He saved. My soul, he saved. But that was a long time ago. What did it do for you lately? He brought me through. He brought me through. I'm through. I'm through. Brought me through. He brought. <laughs> he brought me through. He brought me through. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 